So today we're going to start to talk about some concepts of playing as a team and really understanding team flow when it comes to respawns in professional Call of Duty. And the first concept I really want to hammer in is the term of bumping or, you know, really understanding how important pressure is on the map and how to create better timings with your team. Uh, just a simple strategy that you can utilize in even a ranked play game. So what bumping is, is basically uh, usually when it, it happens on scrap time or it usually happens when a team gets like three or four down and really wants to improve their positioning on the map uh, to either really hamper the team from breaking the hill if it's a three down or four down or to start getting ahead on their rotation while the other team is setting up for the new hill. So what bumping basically is, is, you know, think of it as a like a relay race where you're passing the baton to your teammate. So let's say Bokaj P2 right here. You have number one, he's last live in the hill. Uh, you have two other guys starting their rotation, let's say, and number three spawns up. He's the last one to die for the team. Number one, in this sense, is going to start to push out a little bit as the time of the hard point is running out. Uh, let's say there's 10 seconds left. The other team is completely on rotation to P3. Number three is going to come in to start to take uh, the hill time from number one as he is able to get pushed up and start his rotation. So it's a really simple thing, uh, but it really creates a big advantage for any team that, that does it because of how important the timing and the pressure is uh, that you'll see. So let's say, let's say if number one doesn't get bumped out, let's say number three spawns out uh, right back 10 and he's gonna start to make a rotation. Rather than bumping, he's going to just play through P3, P2 and start the rotation while leaving number one behind in time. You know, th at this point, it's not an efficient way of getting ahead on your rotation because of this gap between number one and number three. Number one is in a better position to rotate because of the timing that he has. So let's say, you know, number one is over here, number three is over here. If this is a bump right here. So this, as you can see, this gap, and the teammates is the timing that you'd miss if number three just ended up going and rotating by himself. Because number three picks up the time, so you're not losing any time. Number one gets out of time. So this, this gap in between those two teammates is that extra timing that you're gonna benefit by rotating early through the bump. Now there are some exceptions with this though. As you can see, number one here in time, number three spawns back out. Let's say number one is like the main AR of the team and number three is, you know, team's fast sub. Let's say number one is Lamar accuracy for Seattle. Number three is Pred. You know, in this case, that's where sometimes where you, you might leave your main AR on the hill just because it's so much more efficient for the team to have Pred, you know, be the one to rotate and get inside grandma's here, get inside, you know, kitchen or, or AS and D and start the rotation for the team while leaving a more slower player in uh, Lamar to soak up the time for the team. One hill that you probably will see a lot of bumping on is uh, Tuscan P5. And let's say, you know, you have one guy in hill, you have one guy spawning up, two are also close to the hill. And let's say you get two or three down uh, for the opposing team. You know, this is where you try and get some spacing and improve your, your positioning on the map because of the spacing that you have now that there are multiple people dead. So here, number two, let's say that he gets a two piece here, a three piece, this is where you'd see them take calculated risk of pushing out the hill. And let's say they play in this corner, number four gets time. Number two here is now in a better position to start cutting off players. So like, let's say they're spawning out here, they're gonna go radio or they're gonna go, you know, up here to, to bikes and, and try and break from Ivy. You know, he's in a better position, number two, to play with number four, team shot number one and number three. And at that point, you know, it is a calculated risk because there could be someone that had just spawned up and while you're trying to push this time out, this person could kill you. But at this point, you're, you're still getting time for your team because number four picks it up. It's just, just a calculated risk on the map because of the spacing that you might have getting two or three down. Another situation where you might not see bumping as efficient is if it really doesn't apply to the goals that you might have on the map. So let's say you're holding scrap time on P3 Gavudu, other team is fully rotated already and you spawn up back red tower number two here. You know, instead of going all the way wrapping around to P3 to bump number four at a time to start breaking from ring, if you know, that's gonna take a long time and especially 
on this break on p4 you know a lot of teams would try to stack both sides to try and break from there uh, to try and set the trap up as you saw in my previous video you know so it really wouldn't make sense for number two to start backing up and, and wrapping around for time here when he could start uh, helping number three on the rotation both sides. So, you know, just because you spawn behind the hill doesn't necessarily mean bumping is always the right play. And, you know, bumping is not just limited to hardpoint. You know, if you get kills and spacing in any type of respawn game mode, that's where you want to develop those efficiencies of getting the timings on your opponents. So let's say, you know, we're in a control example right now. Let's say you win the break hard on offense and your team starts capping the point. You know, number three may have died in the break, so he's back Ivy here. You have three on point. You know, this is a, a spacing that you can get as a team with the other team spawning back red tower here. You can have number two, let's say he's a faster player, you know, push up and try and get P5 and start to, you know, find this cross for your team while two other guys stack. You know, you don't have to always stack with three people, you know, pushing out and getting those extra timings for your team is a really good beneficial thing for your team to do. So here is a real game example of bumping in play. This is a COD Champs match between Toronto and Optic. It's P4 on Tuscan with about 30 seconds left and Toronto is on the break attempt. So they start to break in into this church hill. They crunch from both, you know, short door and grass door and they get the crunch onto Optic, get two down, get the last third guy down as eight is trying to, you know, be the last one to break the hill. You know, he's not important in the situation. They already go three dead. And here's where Insight, Jamie, he spawns up back P2 here. And this is where he can create timings for his team. By him going back church and picking up the time, he's allowing his two subs, Bans and Kleenex, number two and number four, to start to push out the hill, start to get any kills on rotation because they have the spacing for it. They, you know, they go three down right at the beginning of this break attempt. Number eight's the last guy alive. He gets killed as well. So you have four people down within the matter of like six seconds. You get that spacing. You, you, you turn this into pressure for your team. You start pushing out. Number one even is on time and he can now push out to top church to try and get a better rotation for his team uh, by going through radio and going to P5. So as you can see here, number two and number four, they push out uh, grass and the front of the hill, they get trades on number six. Number four ends up dying, but it's fine because number two is ahead on rotation and number four is ahead on rotation, both coming from different sides of P5. So to conclude, bumping is really creating better timings for your team by you know actively pushing or bumping your teammates out of the hill or out of the objective to try and get them better timings and better pressure onto the map for your team as a, a more effective way of playing and, and flowing in respawns.